Alright, back for more King's Quest Mask of Eternity, are we? The Dimension of Death didn't manage to put you off completely? Well, that's kind of a shame. But I figure that's probably because it's been such a long time, it's been something like nine and a half videos we've been in the Dimension of Death the entire time, that you guys probably just forgot about all the horribleness that went on in this place. So, I thought I'd like to start by giving you guys a little recap, by loading up some old files and showing you some of the things that we've been through. So, be prepared, because this is awful. Yeah, I'll just load up one of my old files here. Got a loading screen. And the second loading screen. I always hate this one, it takes forever. But, what you gonna do? Quality like this takes a lot of time. And here we go! I've got the sword, which was given to me by a goddess. That is an awesomely huge glowing sword. And the jumping puzzles. The towers. You guys gotta remember all this. Jumping over the river of death down there. All the screams in the background. Bodies falling past. And the skeletons with their absurdly huge comical swords. Hitting me everywhere. Yeah, cornering me, that's no good. I'm gonna use the mask to turn stuff to stone. There we go. That's much better. There's still one thing missing. Oh yeah. Ghosts flying around and killing stuff. And of course, you've always gotta love killing the skeletons with their own swords. And of course, whipping their asses with these little blades tied to chains. Actually, maybe I don't remember that quite so well, but... Okay, let's jump ahead into some of the other cool stuff that we did in this game. Alright, so... One other thing that really pissed me off at the end... You might remember that I had this really, really awesome bow. So, here come the skeletons. Here's my bow. I'm shooting these guys all over the place, just tearing them apart here. And they get a couple hits, but... Now, I'm stuck with this clumsy hammer. I mean, look at this thing. Look, I can tear these guys apart with my bare hands better than I can use this hammer. I can't even hit the guys. I miss, they crumble to bones, and as soon as I walk away, they're right back on their feet again. This thing takes forever to use. It's incredibly inaccurate. It's got no rapid fire whatsoever. And these guys keep hitting me while I'm trying to smash them to pieces with it. Stand still and let me smash you to pieces. They, they never do. It's just wrong. And what's worse is that there's only one thing here that gets turned to stone, and that's me. See that? Well, actually, no, now they got turned to stone. I suppose that's kind of cool. See, I can smash them now. Alright, maybe this hammer isn't too bad. But, uh, uh, but, and, and I died. This is the thing that you'll probably remember most, is that I died all the time. So anyway, that was the Dimension of Death in a nutshell. Time to get back and move on to the next area. Okay, so, one more thing that I did want to do before going through that portal over there is checking down these little side paths to make sure that I haven't missed anything useful, interesting, important, or otherwise a reason that I would ever, ever have to come back to this place. Naturally, I don't want that to happen. And once again, that whole jumping into darkness thing really doesn't work for me. Anything up there on that ledge? Eh, can't tell. Uh, do, 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 do. Whoa. That's kind of cool. Is there anything down there? No. 
Now this place looks familiar. Alright, I'm gonna take a guess that there's actually nothing off in these side paths and just get back to the portal. Get to the portal! I think that was my worst Arnold Schwarzenegger impression ever. Ever. In the whole of everything. Alright, through the portal. Yes, I'm sure I want to do this. And there's one thing that I want to point out here on these loading screens, even as boring as I keep saying that they are. If you look, only one portion of this map is colored in, and that's the place that we're going to next. So if you go back and look at some of the earlier loading screens, you'll see just Castle Daventry is colored in, or the region of Daventry. The land of the you know, dimension of death is down there at the bottom. And this looks like some kind of swampy area with rivers running through it. Which is obviously our next destination. Is this one? Yeah, this is going a bit faster than the Dimension of Death. Like I said, the Dimension of Death is by far the largest area in this game. So the rest of the levels are not going to be nearly as big, take nearly as long to load, or have nearly as much getting lost in them. I hope. You can pack a lot of getting lost into a small space, but we're about to appear in the next area, so I'll be quiet and let the game have its say if it's got a cutscene for us or something. Kind of hope it does. I want some explanation of what's going on. Why I had to go through the dimension of death to get here, as if that's the only way in or out of Daventry, and there wasn't even a mask piece. Oh, Madam Tree. Where am I now? A swamp? Hooray, epic cutscene! So, let's see what we've got here. Yeah. New enemies! <laughs> Mushrooms. And old enemies, I think. At least I hope that's the same type of enemy I've already seen. Let's try out this hammer. Well, it's not too bad as long as the enemies don't move at all. I'm gonna wonder if these guys have dropped anything. I'm never gonna find it. Ever. But on the plus side. Tis beyond my reach. So many mushrooms here. I have to walk around in order to pick them all up. Kind of annoying that I have so much difficulty moving around, though. I expect that's going to become a real pain in my backside as I attempt to explore this area. Come on, mushroom. Leap into my inventory over here. Uh. What did. did it, what happened? attacking me. You know what's really not effective on... Oh. I see bubbles. Oh. I'm gonna die now. Right after using a crystal. What do you know? Okay, I'm gonna try that again. Joy. Where am I now? A swamp? 
yeah, I think I'm going to save the game right here, immediately, so I don't have to sit through those two loading screens again. Because that really sucked. Now, I think I'm going to be a bit better prepared for whatever comes my way. Except I'm going to miss some stuff. Come on. Hit the thing. Now, I want to know how those you know, trolls or whatever they were kept appearing out of nowhere. Because I'm going around, picking mushrooms, minding my own business. No enemies. For some reason, I can't pick these mushrooms. Still nothing. I don't see anyone. Except for that guy. And if I had any sort of lateral movement whatsoever, those rocks would be a lot easier to dodge. But, what am I talking about? This is Mask of Eternity. I hear him coming. There you are. And that simply is not going to work. Yep. Something in the water. I don't know what that is, but I'm sure it wants to eat me. The question is, can I kill it from here? can't tell if I'm... There we go. I was hitting it. Alright. So that's a lot of health gone. That's a little bit less health gone. I'm seeing giant mushrooms over this way. Maybe I should go here instead of where I died last time. And as far as I can tell, this place is pretty big and featureless. I've got the portal back there. It's the only thing on my map so far giant mountain in the center, and a whole bunch of very well-hidden enemies that I'm just going to have to keep my eyes open for, and save frequently to avoid having to lose too much progress if I die. Speaking of which... There's another one of those troll fellas. What if I can actually? Yeah, see, I used to be able to move while I was using my crossbow. I can't do that with a hammer. And I can't go back and recover the crossbow. As far as I know, it is just gone. So I'm going to have to find a better weapon somewhere along the way. I suppose that maybe these little mushrooms have something to do with all the giant mushrooms. Nope. Another one of these guys. Come on. Switch to the sword already. I should probably just be eating these little mushrooms like candy or something. Oh, can't chop down the big ones. Is there actually a thing over here? There we go, it's a chunk of mushroom. That sounds familiar. Permanent spell of might. Yeah, morsel of giant golden mushroom. I've got that. Actually, what else was there? Permanent spell probably, of uh, might. Yeah, Blue Adamant, Tongue of the Basilisk. I don't believe that I've missed any opportunities yet to get those things. I should just, you know, 
chow down on a bunch of mushrooms till I find my healing spot, like I was saying before. This is getting so bad. The swamp is so boring, I'm actually starting to repeat my own commentary. I'm boring myself. Shape up, game. Oh, shoot. Oh, I got two of these guys to deal with. Oh. Looks like he's smart enough to make his way around. I can't tell what I'm doing. Oh. Looked like maybe it was wising up, but... I can't tell what these fellas are doing. But I can see you! Leech. has got to be here somewhere. I see you there. It's a frog. I know it was probably just an innocent frog that I exploded, but I don't trust anything around here anymore. There's can't possibly be any way to hit that. I'm right in the middle of saying there's no way to hit these bats without a rapid fire weapon and then I hit one. Way to make me look stupid, game. Hmm. Bucket of water. Okay, so I found a healing spot. And I'm probably gonna die of typhoid now. But, as long as... Well, I was going to say as long as there are no enemies in sight, but I see enemies in sight. Should probably make this a short video thanks to the joke stuff I put at the beginning, but I want to see what these guys are about. I don't think I'm hurting them. I think we're going to have to come up with a better long-range solution. This guy I can kill. Uh, I think I'm beginning to see his pattern. And I'm beginning to miss. Repeatedly. Take that. And you, take that. And take a couple more of them. Preferably as many of them as I can throw at you before you get too close. That's better. Now, I don't think I'll be able to get past there, because there's this tradition in King's Quest games, you know, like, uh... King's Quest 4, King's Quest 5, there'll be some kind of haunted forest with spooky trees everywhere. Let's see what happens if I do get too close. This is going to be one of those bonus video things that someone's going to show it if I don't. But, but, but. I'm seeing these little branches popping up out of the swamp here. I seem to be working my way through the maze of trees pretty well. Question is, why? Hey, I see what looks like a guy with what looks like a better long-range weapon. Unlucky fellow. Assuredly, I shall fare better. Yeah, I should say so. I got a bow now. And did I see bubbles? Thought I saw bubbles. Yeah, I don't imagine I can kill these guys with this. Nope. I figure if I could do anything to those trees with a bow, that guy wouldn't be dead and I wouldn't have a bow. But now I have a bow. The hammer is gone. 
And this game just became about 500 times more awesome, which is you know, 500 times zero, but still. I wonder how fast this thing can shoot. That's much better. Obviously, still doesn't help me hit the bats. I mean, yeah, I, I know I'm really pathetic at this, but do you have to make me look pathetic? Like, go out of your way to make me look pathetic, game? So, what a lovely view of the map. I kinda wonder if there's anything off over here, but probably not. And as long as I'm hitting the wrong button, we'll go ahead and save the game anyway. And yeah, I see a whole lot of nothing. But on the plus side, you guys don't have to wait for a bonus video to see what happens if you get too close to the trees. Alright, further swamp exploration now that I have proper long range armaments. Maybe I. I wasn't first person. I've been in first person this whole time. I just can't shoot straight. This is why I suck so much at Left 4 Dead 2. I'm just gonna keep wandering, hopefully finding some new areas. There gotta be things in the swamp somewhere. Oh jeez, they're attacking me from all sides. And I see the poisonous water there. Gonna go back and refill it, save me some items. Dum de dum de dum. There we go. Well, either there were two bats or I didn't actually hit it when it looked like I did. This is my target practice. There we go. I, I think I just had to not actually click on the bat a bit higher and aim off over its head into the distance. Speaking of which, jump onto the platform. Thank you. This is the excitement of King's Quest in 3D! Now I've got a good feeling that over in the direction of that poison swamp water here, I'm going to find the swamp witch who created the same phenomenon back in Daventry. One of those funny feelings. So, I'm going to end the video here and pick it up next time. See you then.